Hey up everybody! Uh, today then I'm going to make a water system for my riding car which I made recently in a, in a set of videos. Uh, take a look back at that if you've not seen it. Um, I think there's six parts to it. I made it from all recycled items in my workshop. Uh, and today then I'm going to do the water system to, so it can act as a tender for the loco. Uh, so I'm going to make it dual purpose. I'm going to put a tank in the box when the box is on, on the ground level track. And then when the box is off and the seat's on the bottom of the riding car here, I'm going to put a rack on the back to put the tank on the back. Uh, I've just made a start in it so I'll show you where I'm up to. How I'm approaching this then, uh, I'm using some recycled plumbing fittings that I've had left over from when I took a radiator out. And I'm going to use a, a petrol, a petrol uh, container. Now these petrol containers come in various shapes and sizes. But it just so happens that this particular size is the size that's going to suit me. Uh, so what I've done then, I've drilled it and put a, a lever tap on it. I've also got another tap at the bottom but that's for something else. Uh, this is going to feed me injector from this tank. And it's just a, a straightforward tap on. I've drilled into the petrol, ca petrol can in line with the uh, filler, filler hole. So I could get me uh, spanner down to get a nut on. So that's trapped onto the and all sealed now. Uh, this one is for for when I feed me tanks on my local. That's just for a, a future a future project. So I've got me uh, me tank ready. I've got to put this pipe down the tube that I made. Uh, my riding car from to go from the back to the front. This this tank is going to sit in this box and then when the box is off I'm going to make a rack from these plumbing fittings to fit on the back. Right, I've got to feed this pipe straight down this tube, come out the front and leave some out the back to go onto the tank. Right, so let's deal with the, the ground level track first. So I'll fit me extension box on. So when I made my box, I made it to the dimensions of this petrol can so that it just slides in and rests on the frame. So to stop the tank moving around in the box, I've just put some screwed some wooden blocks on the front and the back, so it's resting on the frame and it can't move back or forward. And then I'm going to thread the feed pipe just through the, this gap in the back of the box here, and then that's going to connect onto this pipe. So that's my ground level track dealt with, so I'll now move on to for when I'm on raised track. So 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a rack to fit the tank on in that position from this this, this plumbing pipe, 15, 15 millimetre plumbing pipe and joints. Well I've already cut the pipe and cleaned it up from a load of scrap that I had and what's going to happen these two uprights that I welded on when I was making the riding car which I said it was optional if if you were on a ground level track you didn't need them but if you're on a race track this is the way I'm doing it I've welded two tubes on the bike I'm going to solder these pipes up now So once I've got all those in position I'm going to just put a bit of wire around them just to keep them secure, solder them up, I'm going to take the seat off, protect my riding car, solder them up in situ so that they're going to fit into this down tube ok. And once everything's square then and soldered up that's how my tank's going to fit on. I've just been a cleaned all flux off it and uh, yeah it's turned out okay that. A nice easy fit. That's it for this little project then, uh, that'll put me on now until I get me tender made for my loco. Uh, I'm hoping to do a tender for that, but pro perhaps that'll be a winter project. Uh, so if you've enjoyed that give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and uh, I'll catch you on my next video. So I'll sign off for now then, thanks for watching, bye for now.